Today we're going to take a look at a new feature in ImagePrint for doing halftone screen separations. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a halftone screen separation? Uh, and if you are, it's probably not something you need right now, but stick around because you might actually find out that it's something you're interested in and can do in the future. Now for those of you who are familiar with halftone screen separations, um, we're going to show you a much easier way to do it than maybe you've done it in the past. Uh, and with ImagePrint Red, you can separate for just about any printer you may have um, that can print out on clear film. So stick around and we're going to show you how this is all done. Uh, the first thing we do is we start with a design file. And the design file needs to be a PDF file. So I'm going to load a PDF of a graphic design file right here, and I'm going to drop it into our layout window. Now, if I'm going to do screen separations, if I need to, if I want to rotate this or size it, I need to do it now because once the separations are done, we're going to lock you out from doing that because it would disturb the uh, uh, line frequencies and the screen angles. So this, if you're going to resize and rotate, do all that stuff before you actually go into the separation window. We're going to right mouse click on this image and we're going to go down to generate separations. And what this is going to do is it's going to analyze the file and pull out all the channels that it finds inside the file. Now for graphic designs that are used for screen printing on t-shirts, uh, most of the time these files are designed where you're not going to use the primary colors. So cyan, magenta, yellow, and black they're not going to be used. So up there we have a setting um, that you can check and that setting is sticky. It'll be remembered and it'll just automatically turn off those channels. Um, then you're just left with the spot colors that we've pulled out of the file. Beneath that we have render preview at printer DPI. Now most of the time you print screen separations at pretty high resolutions. So in working with these files in a fast manner, we're going to show you know, a slight reduction in resolution on the screen. But if you wanted to see that one-to-one -one, uh, resolution that's going to be printed on, you can turn this on. Just be aware that it's going to take much longer to create those separations, especially if you have a lot of channels in the file. And below that, we have convert to grayscale. Now, many people use screen printing for printing on equipment, uh, printing on wood, um, all sorts of things other than just uh, t-shirt screen printing or art screen printing and they only deal with a single channel so we have an option to just force everything into that single channel so regardless of how the graphic file was made we'll condense it and force it into a grayscale channel and you'll just get one uh, halftone separation out that's grayscale. For this example we're going to turn this off because we have many channels in here and we can look at all those different channels and if I choose them you can see the different halftone separations for each one of these. Now if there's a channel in here that we don't want, let's say base white for example, and we want to turn that off, um, we can exclude it from the separation process just by turning it off and we can turn it on back again if we need to. Um, Next to that, we have frequency, angle, and dot shape. So the frequency or the uh, lines per inch that the separation is done at, um, these can be changed based on the mesh count, mesh count that you're using. And you can change them right here. Um, each channel can have its own settings. If we want all the channels to have a similar setting, we can set one and then hit this button that makes all channels um, replicate those settings. The other thing we can do is use recommended LPI and angle. And this is where we allow you to set based on common mesh counts. So let's say you're a, you're a beginner in this and, and we know that what the mesh count is, but we don't know what the appropriate um, screen angle and LPI should be. We can just go to our mesh count and then we'll use, we'll load the common settings for that mesh count. And once we have these settings, then all we have to simply do is say apply, and it's gonna lay out 
each one of these separations on your layout page and you can still move these around if you need to be but you can't resize them or rotate them at this point um, and you're going to print these on to clear film and then continue on with the process of making your screens um, and doing screen separations through image print now on just about any printer is simply that easy uh, it's a great addition to image print uh, if you if you do screen separations uh, whether you're screen printing for art or you're doing it for for t-shirts uh, it's just a great uh, new feature in image print and a great way to do it uh, and it's as simple as that